What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with my Browns Bears Week 3 recap. As the Browns went out there and absolutely dominated on defense. The offense really didn't play that well. But when your defense is eaten like ours was today, it didn't really hurt that bad. Browns win 26-6, to and we improved to 2-1 and one on the season. Odell made his return today, but again, that was not the biggest story of the day because Miles freaking Garrett went hog wild on the Bears offensive line as old man Jason Peters could not contain him at all. Four and a half sacks for Miles Garrett, and that's, what, half the sacks that we had? today. Four and a half out of nine. He could have had more, too. There was a couple of times where, you know, Fields slipped just beyond the grasp of Miles. He could have had way, probably five or six sacks today. Like, damn. <laughs> I mean, I mean, remember, Miles Garrett, earlier this week, called out the Browns' defensive line because, you know, he's getting double teamed and no one else is stepping up. Well, uh, yeah, they stepped up today. Nine sacks, and the Browns' defense, like I said, absolutely just ate Justin Fields alive. They made his life a living hell for 60 minutes today, and based off of what I saw the last two weeks, that was a pleasant sight. So, Baker Mayfield today went 19 of 31, 246 yards, had a touchdown, got sacked five times. Yeah, that's another thing. Our offensive line was not very good today. Now, granted, we were facing a very good front seven, but still, I think the thing was we were trying to do a lot of long developing plays when we should have just been trying to hit them with the short stuff. But, I mean, the running game really wasn't all that effective early on, so they were stacking the box and they were bringing heat. And our offensive line just couldn't keep Baker clean for the most part. So, yeah, safe to say uh, both offensive lines had a rough day. But their, their offensive line, oh, yikes. But Baker still had a 97 rating. Overall, not that bad. Not that bad. On the ground, we had 215 yards on 42 rushes. 22 carries for Nick Chubb, 84 yards. Kareem Hunt had 10 carries, 81 yards and a touchdown. Baker had 4 for 31. Odell had 1 for 10. Dearness Johnson even got in the game late. He had two for nine. And Case Keenum had three carries for no yards. Now through the air, Odell Beckham in his return, five receptions for 77 yards. He also drew a couple penalties, which was pretty good for us. Kareem Hunt, six for 74. DPJ, two for 39. Richard Higgins, two for 24. Hooper, two for 19 and a touchdown. Demetric Felton, two for 13. And Harrison Bryant and Anthony Schwartz had targets, but no catches. But yeah, going into this game, I knew we were going to have trouble with their front seven. And our offense sputtered, but our defense uh, kept theirs in check. I think they only had like one net yard. Yeah, one yard on offense. Wow. <laughs> we held the Bears to one yard net offense. Like you look at Justin Fields on ESPN. You know, where it says Chicago passing, you look at Justin Fields. Under where it says 68 yards, it says team, 6 for 20, 1 yard. 1. Wow. Now, uh, through the air for the Bears, they didn't do anything through the air. I mean, mainly because Justin Fields was running for his life half the time. <laughs> he spent half the game on the ground. But yeah, uh, Allen Robinson, two receptions for 27 yards. Montgomery, two for 21. Cole Komet, one for 11. Darnell Mooney, one for nine. So in overall, we allowed six catches on defense. The secondary had the best day ever. And we even had an interception that was negated because of a low-key, ticky-tack, freaking DPI, which you be the, the you be the judge on that. I don't think that was DPI. The, you know, John Johnson literally just put his hand on the shoulder. He didn't push him down or anything. He was just setting up. The ball was way over the receiver's head. But, of course, you know, the refs wanted to be generous. Of course. And then, of course, you know, Baker got hit 
and they didn't call a rough on the passer. They originally did, but they picked up the flag. Of course. Now on the ground for the Bears, we held them to 46 rushing yards. Total 10 carries for Montgomery for 34 yards and Justin Fields had 3 for 12. A lot of that was just him trying to get away from our pass rush. I mean, we were eating them alive the entire game. They could not do a damn thing on offense. And uh, coming off of those last two weeks where we were getting gouged and just eaten up, this was awesome. This was freaking awesome to see. And now hopefully we can carry this in the next week when we go to Minnesota to face Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. So that's really all I'm going to say, you know. Uh, didn't really hear a lot of trash talk from the Bears, you know, this week on YouTube. There was like one video I saw from freaking Judah Tribe. I mean, I'm not even going to talk about it. You know, Judah Tribe, low-key, don't know football. That dude freaking said we had, what, sweat on our team? I mean, there's two sweats in the NFL, Montez and Josh, and neither of them are on our team. But he now knows about Miles Garrett, that's for sure. He absolutely abused old man Jason Peters. That dude had no chance at stopping it. Now, in terms of who else got to Justin Fields today, JOK had half a sack. Jadavian Clowney, you know, the dude who everyone says is washed. He had two sacks today. Ronnie Harrison had a sack. Malik Jackson had a half a sack. And Tack McKinley had a sa half a sack. Yeah. It's pretty much, uh, you get a sack, you get a sack, you get a sack, you get a sack, you get a sack. And again, there was a couple of uh, sacks that we nearly missed, too. But you love to see it, man. You love to see it. Miles Garrett, I think, had, like, a club record for most sacks in a game at four and a half. And, again, he was like a fingertip away from a couple. He could have easily had a, a sack where Jadavian got one. But Jason Peters actually came back and kind of knocked Garrett off of Fields and then right into the clutches of Clowney. So, hey, we ate today. Now let's hope uh, we can eat next week against the Vikings. So, that'll be fun. But not really much else to say. You know? But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Shout out to all the Bears fans out there. Especially my guy, Josh from the Sports Fury. Shout out to you. Too sweet. Yeah. Too sweet. Whoop. Whoop. The heck. There we go. There it is. Yeah. But, uh, <sighs> this feels good. Two and one. And you know what's even better? The Steelers are last in the division. They're the only team with a losing record in a division. Damn. Us, Bengals, and Ravens all won today. Now, of course, the Bungles and the Steelers played each other, so someone was going to win that game, unless they tied, which would have been hilarious. But Bungles won, so that means all of Ohio gets to gloat this week. We're all happy here in Ohio. Ohio State won, Bungles won, we won, Indians lost. But who cares about the Indians, right? So, uh, yeah. This felt good. Now let's have it carry on into next week. I would love to see us do this against Kirk Cousins, who's not as mobile as Justin Fields. You know, that's something too. Heading into this game, I was kind of scared of Justin Fields. I was like, you know, he's going to be running around, evading the pocket, you know. But no, he was sitting in the pocket like a duck. You know, and Miles Garrett just absolutely ate him up. Straight up, man. I mean, we were all over the place. That dude, like I said, he spent half the game on the ground. <laughs> For real. He couldn't do a damn thing on offense. That's crazy. I mean, our defense absolutely ate today. You love to see it. Best, best game from our defense in a while. For real. I mean, like, damn. I was criticizing Joe Woods' defense, and he must have heard the slander. That or the fact that you know, our defensive line heard Miles Garrett's call for arm, call to arms are pretty much, uh, they're like, yeah, okay, we got you, Miles. We're going to go out here and eat this weekend. Look at that. They did. Nine sacks. Should have had an interception, too, but yeah. You be the judge on that DPI. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm Crazy Dog 99 Let's go, Browns. And now I get to sit back 
and watch the uh, at the four o'clock games, and then uh, tomorrow I will have my victory Monday, my second one of the year. God, winning feels good, you know. This win just feels oh, oh, so good, man. I love it. I know Browns fans everywhere else love it too. Feel bad for Justin Fields, but hey, welcome to the NFL, young guy, young gun, little boy. <laughs> oh, this was fantastic. You know, this was fantastic. You love to see it. We did not allow a single touchdown. And honestly, they should have only had three points. Because of that DPI, they freaking should have had a touchdown. They should have scored a touchdown. But they couldn't even do that. Two field goals. Matt Nagy, oh my god. I feel bad for Bears fans. I feel bad for Justin Fields and Bears fans, man. You gotta deal with Matt Nagy every week. Ugh. How did the Bungles freaking lose to these guys? For real. Oh wait, Joe Burrow threw three straight interceptions. That's right. Tough. But uh, that's gonna wrap it up for real this time. I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go Browns. I'll see you tomorrow for Victory Monday. I'm out.